What's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna learn how to get a page and an Instagram account ID using the access token we obtained in my last video. Most of the Instagram Graph API endpoints require an Instagram account ID. In order to get the Instagram account ID, we need to use a page ID. And in order to get the page ID, we need to use an access token. So we use the access token we obtained in my last video to get the page ID. And then we use the page ID to get our Instagram account ID. The first page I have created is get underscore pages dot PHP. It's going to hit this endpoint and it's going to pass along the access token obtained from my last video. It's going to give us back our Facebook page name and our Facebook page ID. And at the bottom, I've just thrown all of the raw data into a text area so we can see all of the data we get back for this endpoint. Now that we have this page ID, we can use that to hit another endpoint which will give us the Instagram business account ID. Get Instagram account underscore ID dot PHP. This page hits this endpoint right here. We're using the page ID that we got from our get underscore pages dot PHP. We're passing along fields, Instagram business account, and we are also passing along our access token. This gives us back our Instagram business account ID. And again, the raw data is right here in a text area. We're gonna begin by creating a get pages .php file. Open that up and the first thing we want to do is include our defines file. And open that file. In this file we're going to define a new endpoint. Since we're going to be using this endpoint a lot it's best to define it right here so in case we need to update this any part of this at any time we can just update it in our defines file. Next, we'll be defining our access token. Replace this with the access token that we got from my last video. Then we're going to save our page ID and our Instagram account ID. Now, whenever we include this defines file in any of our pages going forward, we will have access to all of these things. That will do it for that file for now until we get our page ID. So back in our get pages, let's start coding. First thing we want to do is define the endpoint. So our endpoint format is our base URL that we just defined, which is graph.facebook.com, and the version slash me accounts access token. This is how we will get our pages back. The pages endpoint variable is what we're actually going to use to curl the graph API. Once we have our base endpoint set up, we can then define the parameters that go along with it. In this case, access token. And this access token variable, remember, is coming from our defines file right here. We have our endpoint set up, and we have the params that we want to send along, in this case, just an access token. Now let's concatenate them together so that our params are actually on our endpoint. So what we've done is on to our pages endpoint here, we have added a question mark. Then right after that comes the parameters, in this case access token. So this line right here rewrites our endpoint to look just like the formatted endpoint but in this case, our access token is actually going to be replaced with our variable. Now all we have to do is set up our curl call. So we've set up our curl stuff. We have specified the endpoint, uh, which needs to be pages endpoint. So we're hitting this endpoint right here. Um, some other curl options. And then we actually make the curl call right here. We open, we get a response, we close the curl call, and then we convert our response array to a nice PHP array. And then I'm gonna unset my access token as to not make it public. Save that and we're going to hit our web page, get pages.php, and 
we're getting an error. Unknown path components slash account. Oh, it should be accounts with an S. Yep, so I just didn't specify the actual endpoint correctly. Refresh it and we get our page back. We get the data array, my page right here, my name and my ID. Back in our get pages, we'll just uh, write a little HTML here and display some stuff out. And now we got a nice little formatted page. We're showing the endpoint, the endpoint format, how it should look, displaying out what we got back, our page, name, and ID, and then dumping the raw response in a text area. We can remove our print R and die and refresh our page. There we go. We have a nice little endpoint uh, format right here. So we can see how to format it with our access token and our response with our page name, page ID, and all the other good stuff that comes back with it. Now we're going to take the page ID right here that we got, and we're going to go to our defines file. And in our page ID, we're going to save that right there. Now that we have our page ID, we can now use this to get our Instagram account ID. We're going to open up our folder. We're going to copy our get underscore pages and name it get Instagram account ID. And we're going to open it up. Now the nice thing about this is most of this work has already been done for us. We just have to change out the endpoint and the parameters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our endpoint to the Instagram account ID endpoint. The endpoint format for this is endpoint.base and then we pass along a page ID, fields, and a token. So we're going to update this pages endpoint to be Instagram account endpoint. The Instagram account endpoint is everything up into the question mark in the from the format. So all we need to do here is put our page ID in. Endpoint base dot page ID. And since we just got our page ID and it's in our defines file, we can use this variable. Next we want to define the parameters. Let's call this IG params. So the parameters are everything after the question mark up here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to Put the fields in here and the fields is just one string Instagram underscore business account which is basically saying give me my business account information then the second parameter is the access token then we build our endpoint by adding on our parameters curl call is still set up just as it should be we have our new endpoint going along getting our response dumping in our PHP array but I can remove this because I'm not going to get an access token back with this response. Let's scroll down and we can restyle this up just a little bit so it looks like we're getting an Instagram account. Endpoint format. We want to display out our Instagram business account ID. And our Facebook page ID. And then we're going to put the raw response in a text area. Hit the get Instagram account ID.php file. There's our endpoint format uh, displaying out our response, which contains our Instagram account ID. This is the actual raw response. We get our Instagram account ID inside of the Instagram business account array. And it also sends back the page ID that we used. But for this endpoint, we're only concerned with our Instagram business account ID. So we're going to copy this ID and go back to the defines file. Now we can save our Instagram account ID inside of our Instagram account ID variable. And that is how we use the access token that we got in my last video to get a page ID. And then we use that page ID to get our Instagram account ID. And that is going to wrap this video up, guys. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.